Mike Torrey. Uh, he has the uh, unenviable job of uh, uh, capturing in 2D uh, photograph the work of architects and designers. So how do you capture stuff that's beautiful, that's uh, obviously bigger than, than even your lens? Uh, he does it very well, though. He loves nature. Uh, he's a, a, a distant relative of the actual person for whom the Torrey Pine is uh, named. Uh, and so it, he's fascinated by how nature and buildings intersect. And he has a great book of photographs about Machu Picchu. Mike Torrey. Mike Torrey. Thank you. My site is the Scripps Seaside Forum in the Hoya Shores area, which is connected with the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. And you can go there for breakfast and sit on the deck and have a beautiful view of the ocean. Or you can go to a TEDx talk and sit in a 300 seat auditorium down below. Um, so, um, <clears throat> Safi Rabinus Architects were the uh, firm that designed it. And you walk through those two doors there and go into the auditorium. Um, or go upstairs on the deck there and have uh, breakfast or lunch. And then, of course, there's the um, Scripps uh, Research Pier out there to the north. Now, this site is really about the view and uh, connecting to the water. Um, there are sliding glass doors that open in the front and the side, and it just opens you up to the entire space. It's really an experiential site. I really, really like it. And if you go up top to the deck, uh, they take the furniture in after it's closed at 3, so you have the deck to yourself and have a beautiful view. Uh, this is at sunset, and I really like the signature um, shade uh, structure and a curved uh, um, wood wall behind it that's really um, interesting. A lot of things to look at there. Um, this is from down below. On the left upstairs is the restaurant, Carolyn's Cafe. And then, of course, the uh, auditorium, you can see the reflection of the sunset and the, and the doors. And people just love to go up there and hang out and watch the sunset. It's, it's a great place to explore. And as a photographer, I just love to see the light and forms that, that take place. And this is the curved wall and the, and the structure that is upstairs. And um, I just found myself liking this like more and more, just spending time there. It was really wonderful. And as you... On the deck, uh, turn to the south, you'll see um, these uh, they're board rooms or conference rooms, about 20 to 80 people that you can uh, rent. And of course, you can look down to uh, the La Jolla Shores area, and um, they, each of them has a little patio that you can sit out and uh, have a conversation with. The waves aren't crashing too loud for you. And on the other side, uh, this is the pathway into uh, those those conference rooms and it's very striking um, they also have a courtyard there that people can assemble in and it's just meant for a lot of different people in a lot of different uh, spaces and it was just beautiful to experience it this is a view of the courtyard and the uh, boardrooms from the upper deck um, and of course you can see down to the cove and families come through there runners surfers um, Walkers and then uh, just just sitting there watching. It's a good people watching place to uh, to check out. <coughs> this view is from the interior of the auditorium, and again opening up the space on the side, glass doors, looking down at the um, the beautiful architecture that's there. Uh, in this picture, the windows are closed in the front, and we had the auditorium for a few hours, and it wasn't set up, but. Um, you can see inside a little bit to the space that's set up for uh, classrooms, an auditorium. They do weddings there, um, and people just love to walk through there. It's, it's, a, it's a fun uh, space to see. Now, on the back side of the auditorium here, um, again, surfers, uh, you can access the upper deck uh, through either the left side stairs or the right side stairs, and then the wall in front is a curvular um, access for handicap. And um, uh, the light in the morning was really beautiful. I really like the, um, 
the materials there, the, the wood, the concrete, the metal, and, and yes, the, the, the plantings and the trees. And uh, people were walking through, there were a boy that was staring me down, walk, uh, walking through there. Um, it's just a very um, unique, dynamic area. And then on the right side stairs, there's a pathway that, that kind of bifurcates the auditorium and the restaurant. And I feel that the, um, the space itself really gives us a more powerful connection to the natural world. I think it really does a great job of doing that. There was an interesting article in the New York Times Magazine uh, last month, and it talked about how um, they correlated our uh, emotions, positive emotions of joy and love and contentment with uh, measures of inflammation in our bodies, which is unhealthy. And they found that the most powerful emotion was awe, like being awestruck by an experience. And um, I thought that was really interesting. You can go to a restaurant for the view and get healthy. I, I love that. <laughs> um, uh, there's a San Diego-based organization called the um, Academy of Neuroscience for Architecture. And they bring neuroscientists and architects together to talk about how the built environment connects us to healthy, environmental and productivity spaces. And I had the opportunity to talk with them uh, along with a, a neuroscientist and architecture professor, Eve Edelstein. And we used my book on Machu Picchu to talk about what happens in your brain when you go to a world wonder site and you experience awe. And it's just um, fascinating that something happens inside you when that happens. So um, it's not just nature that makes you feel awe or not just the beautiful architecture that makes you feel awe. To me, it's the connection between the natural and the man-made worlds that uh, helps us feel that wonder and that awe. This is a picture of the site from the beach. You know, more and more, uh, I think people gravitate towards green, eco-friendly, and sustainable environments. But I think we want something a little more. We want to feel a little bit of magic in, in the places that we go. And from this site, you can see a beautiful sunset and feel that wonder in the awe. And I think what the Scripps um, Seaside Forum does for us is it really helps us realize that there is a connection between the natural and the man-made world. And that we ought to use that information, that, that insight, to create more beautiful spaces that, that speak to us, that are healthy, that uh, um, you know, make us happy. So thank you very much. Happy New